Hi everyone, this time I will explain how it works and how it's made. So let's start first with this switch, that's the main power switch. I just put it on and it gives us 12 volts from the adapter in the wall. This is the ignition switch which will turn on a relay inside which gives 12.2 volts to the ESC inside the box which is the motor controller it's all made with RC stuff so I'm just going to show you what I used for the engine sound that is the Sense ES1 Plus and this box is a Logitech uh, I believe it's the S220 speaker system, it's a 2.1 speaker system for a PC so underneath you will see there is a speaker and I put some nice you know, what do you call it, stands underneath and then I'll put it to the side and then you will see a Fleischmann slot card controller Here we have the main fuse and this is a little switch for this cable that goes to your laptop to program the engine unit, the engine sound unit. And this is the 12 volt connector that goes in the back. I'll show you what kind of adapter I used. And that's this one. It's a 12 volt 2.5 amps. So So that's actually how it works and of course we got another switch here that will turn off the engine sound unit on off and of course the front off. The engine sound you can change because you can program two engine sounds in this unit and if you want to change it to the other sound you just press or hold the minus button and here you will hear the different engine sound as well the volume you can put it up or down the little speaker in here I disconnected it and connected it to the big speaker underneath so that's how we get the sound so let's turn that off and now I'll show you the top we got uh, two missing strips and a 124 scale wheel with some foam underneath that will uh, and it has an axle 3 millimeter axle that goes inside and underneath there it's a big uh, gearing wheel with a washer on top so that it will slide the wheel will slide up and down and the foam underneath the wheel will give it some resistance and here you have a carbon plate carbon fiber plate and underneath is actually um, yeah the top of the casing of the Tamiya speed checker which has all the components underneath it like the gearing and the sensor and the wheels and actually that that uh, I cut it out from the Tamiya speed checker and glued it underneath this carbon fiber plate and then cut out the square holes I'll show you some components I used 
over here we have the ES1. I already opened it up. So I'll take this one out. Over here we have the 12 volt cable. And this is a three wire cable. Actually this one has four, but this is more for an RC car to do your... Yeah, it's an auxiliary cable for like a horn or something like that. But we're going to use these three wires, the white one, the red one and the black one. And I opened... Yep. This is inside the ES1. I disconnected it, the speaker wires from the speaker. I took the speaker out and I connected these two wires to the big speaker of the box. For a connection I used from the ES1 this T-plug. If you desolder it you have two plugs, one male one female and I connected it with some extended wires to this side, to the module, and the other side to the speaker. So this is actually a similar case of speaker box from Logitech. It's a different size, but as you can see it's very nice finished, it's very strong. So it's a nice box to build stuff in, like a dyno bench or something like that. I took all the electronics out of the box from Logitech, so that's why this one is empty as well. And I used the speaker, just the, yeah, the only thing I used was the speaker in the casing. This little speaker from the ES1 I used for the Tamiya speed checker because the Tamiya speed checker has a little speaker and if you you know use this one you get a better or a stronger beep from the Tamiya speed checker casing I cut the front out so I have a template for the display let's say this is a carbon sheet carbon fiber sheet so you put it on and you draw it out like this. And then you know what to cut out all these parts. And then your display will fit very nicely in there. This is an example from the front of the Tamiya Speed Checker for the front wheels. But of course I just cut it out so I've got a template for something else. But it's similar to the back. It has more stuff on the, uh, on the back side of the Tamiya Speed Checker where they fit the sensor and the, the extra gearing wheel and things like that. So you cut it out like that and then you glue it underneath that carbon fiber plate and then you cut out these holes. That's the easiest way, so to speak. For the controller, like RC stuff works with a signal and a slot car controller works with regulating the voltage from 0 to 12 volts. As you can see I've got another Fleischmann controller here and of course it works like going up and down. But this of course is analog and it doesn't fit with the engine sound module. It don't work like that. But I found these things and this is like, this gives a throttle signal and it also goes up and down. I used a little smaller size version of this one in the controller, but actually I will, I think this one will fit as well. As you can see, that's how I fitted it inside. Actually this one makes a little bit more noise than the one I used. But it also has these three wires. The white one, the red one and the black one. 
and we're gonna all connect those wires together like from the sound unit and also from the ESC I only got this little paper to show you it so this is the ESC and over here you got uh, the 12 volt power supply that goes in these two outer wires are going to the motor or to your track and here is that uh, a switch and the three wire cable similar to this one so we're all going to connect them together and then it will work remember this one like an RC controller if you put uh, the throttle forward it's like full throttle backwards right the car goes full throttle backwards so in the middle is neutral and when you pull it then you go full throttle or with throttle forward this one works similar so extended it's now full throttle going backwards so when you want to build this into uh, the slot car controller you need to find the neutral point and it is almost like halfway down so it has to be like situated like that inside the controller and then from the neutral point you will have your throttle forward so that's to remember when you install it inside the slot car controller then I'm going to show you a wiring system because I also put a switch if you want to program the engine sound module because this one should go with this one into your laptop as well when you want to program it but um, when we solder all these wires together you know you can't unplug them but if you make an extra wire that will go inside the box or outside the box like I made in, in the bench then you will need a switch that when you want to program it only this